I just came across this handy application called Prismo. It's for the iPhone stroke iPod Touch. It's an OCR program or optical character recognition program. So it lets you take a picture of a text document or from the camera album. Then it does the OCR. So it's got some great features such as text to speech, and which I thought might be useful for particularly for dyslexic students. So we'll have a look at those features along the way in this quick demo. Okay, so the first thing to do is fire up Prismo, which I've got here, Prismo, and we're presented with this screen. So we have various options. It says text, business card, bill, whiteboard, and reader. So text, the one we'll be concentrating on today, lets you scan a page and convert it to OCR. Business cards, if you have a business card, you can scan it in, do the OCR, and it will try and intelligently put those details into your contacts. Bill, I haven't used bill, but I think that's, you just take a, you scan your bill, and, and your receipts, whatever, and it will do the OCR on that. Whiteboard, again, I haven't used that, but it, apparently it optimises the picture taken of a whiteboard, so something I very often do with my camera is just for memory, just take a picture of a whiteboard if something's been discussed. So this will enhance the look of that. And Reader, which will come on to uh, later on. So the first thing I want to do is do a text scan. So if I click on text here, so you'll see there's three tabs along here, source, image, and OCR. So our first step is to capture the source. So we can take that from the camera, which we'll do, or we can take it from the album, if we have one stored in the album, or if you've got a previous generation iPod Touch without a camera, you can upload a, a photo and put it into your album and use that. So we're going to use the camera just now, so fire up the camera. So you'll see it has these grid lines here for, for lining up your text. And I've got a text document here, this is Podcasts and the Law from Just Legal. So what I'll do is just take a, a quick snap. So let's see, try and line this up. Take a picture. Okay, so we've got that. That looks okay. Uh, we could retake that if that wasn't. So we'll just use that one for now. And so rather than this wobbling about just now, I uh, will put this on a tripod. Okay, on to step two. We've got the image now and we'll click on use here. So we're presented with various options here just to correct the photograph. So the first thing we want to do is flip it round. We want to flip it left. Okay, I'm just going to do a crop now. We have a wee crop button here. I'm not going to do the whole document. So if I just can drag that down, just put this up, about there, that's fine, and we'll click on crop, so that just crops that section. Okay, so other things we can do, we can adjust the perspective, if I wasn't straight on to the image then it'd be a bit skewed, so I can sort that out, but it's looking okay there just now. Uh, if I scroll along, we have the white picker. So this has a this document here is a white background, so it's not particularly white on the screen. So I've got this little moving target which I can drag to the background and click on apply. So you'll see that's improved the image there. Okay, so that's us rotated it, cropped it, and we've made the background a bit whiter. So we'll click on next. We'll do the OCR here. And it's rather quick. So that's how it's got our text already. If I spotted any minor mistakes here, I can also edit here. Just click and just do the basic editing. So it looks all right here. So I'll just click on done, click on next. Okay, so this is where it gets rather interesting. Down at the bottom here, uh, my various options. So the first one is read, and this is your text-to-speech. You see I've got a voice called Rachel here. I can change the speed of playback, but I'll just let you hear what that sounds like. A further development in this area is that many universities now have intellectual property policies with respect to their academics. 
Okay, so I'll just stop that so I can speed it up. Some of these allow academics to hold copyright in lecture material, although this is not always the case. If the institution decides that it wants to make regular use of the casting and uses the services of an outside party. Okay, and similarly I can slow it down to very slow. So if I just go back here, so if I click on Rachel, back, you see it's an English voice, UK Rachel. You have to buy the, the voices, but they're actually very good quality. So if I click on buy voices, it'll take me out to their site. And there's various uh, voices. There's four UK voices at the moment. And you can get a preview before you buy. So this is uh, Graham, UK. So I see what it says. Graham, the male British English voice you can use with Prismo. And we have Lucy. Hello, I'm Lucy, the female British English voice you can install on Prismo. And we have Peter. Hello, I am Peter. If you are looking for a male British English voice to use with Prismo, I am your man. <laughs> And we've got Rachel as well. So they're pretty good. And comparatively speaking, very cheap. So if I just cancel that and go back. OK, so other options we have here, we can copy. So this would copy into the clipboard the original image or text. Cancel that. We have mail. We could mail the text or the original image. We have two cloud storage solutions here. So one's called Dropbox, the other one's called Cloud App. I actually use Dropbox on my PC and Android device and my iPod Touch. So if I click here and put that to text, that will put it to my Dropbox and I've got it available on all my devices immediately. So really handy service. And there's a, a free account for Dropbox that will give you two gig of storage space. So it's worth checking out. I can also save the original image that I took here or the processed one, so we've rotated that, cropped it, did a white balance adjustment, so I can save that as well. And one final cool feature, I think, is it uses Google Translate for translation service. So this could be useful for ESOL students or language students. So if I click on Translate, um, we have various different languages here. So if I wanted to translate that document to Spanish, there we go, we have it in Spanish. Okay, so that's Prismo in a nutshell. It's an OCR program available for the iPhone, iPod Touch. It does text-to-speech. It's very fast. And you can share the text in various ways.